And Moses went up in the midst of the cloud and set him up into the mountain. And Moses went in the mountain forty days and forty nights. And here we return to the Jew and the Christian. Selections from Judeo-Christian scriptures, the Old Testament, from the book of Leviticus. And... The form of the law meets the spirit, well, meets the feeling of the law, not the spirit of the law. That's going too far. But anyways, from the book of Leviticus, various laws. And the Lord spoke unto Aaron, saying, Do not drink wine, nor strong drink thou, nor thy sons with thee, when you go into the tabernacle of the congregation, lest you die. And Surah 4 of Quran, you don't, it says not to you, not to come intoxicated unto the prayer in the house of worship. Uh, doesn't say the house of worship. But, um, and it shall be a statute forever throughout your generations and that you may be put and that you may put difference between holy and unholy. You know, intention, like I say in the channel video for the subscribers, the uh, doing things in the name of, according to the principles of, with remembrance before, after, during. That is what makes something holy. Or, well, unholy if you're a Satanist. And between unclean and clean. And good or bad, uh, people do stuff for Satan. But as, as far as religion of worshiping God... Things come out a little bit different now, don't they? And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are upon the earth. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that ye shall eat. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud, are of them that divide the hoof, as the camel, because he cheweth the cud, but, but, not, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean to you. In this age, you can eat camel. And Kane betweets, and the Kane, because he cheweth the cud, but, but divideth not the hoof, and he is unclean to you. And the hare, because he cheweth the cud, and divideth not the hoof, and he is unclean to you. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be cloven-footed, because he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcasses shall ye not touch, and they unclean to you. So, none of this, well, the words flesh, so we can... There's people who played that game later on, and just like the Passover, this because of this, because of this, because of this, when you look at the Talmud, and you're going to see some... Oh, it's telling us to disobey the commandment. Well, it's not using those words, it's using, you know flip the page a couple times and you're doing something completely different or even opposed to. Um, the khanzir in Arabic is the very dirty, very foul, the meat, the animal on land that eats meat. You know, you don't, and you don't eat mice and, and rats. You know, the, the fangs and the, and the talons and the claws and, but other than that, you know, it's, Things are okay. Other flesh shall you not eat, and their carcasses shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. And more and more people are getting pretty sick from handling and eating pig. And there's disease, still diseases that are only found in the pig. And brain worm in this century has is seven times as much as it was last, you know, towards the end of last century. And it's like, you know... No matter how much you rinse off and basically torture the pig, it's still not a clean animal. And if a stranger sojourn with thee in your land, ye shall not vex him. But the stranger that dwelleth you shall you be shall be unto you as one born among you, and thou shalt love him as thyself, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt, I am the Lord your God. And the sovereign citizen thing is it's like, okay, if your articles of confederation if these things before the Constitution 
said that anybody who lives in this country shall be treated, uh, well, basically like they live in the in this country now, even though they're from from some other country. In other words, they have to follow the laws of this country. It's not. I declare myself sovereign. I like using the roads and stuff, and but when I break the law, no, I'm a sovereign citizen. I don't accept your authority over me. Well, we were going to give you like a uh, probation or some sort of uh, deferment, but uh, house five years in prison. You, s there's videos of this ha of even to that extent happening all over the country. So how people end up believing that, I don't know. Who, whosoever he be of the children of Israel are of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that give any of the seed unto Moloch, unto Molech, he shall sure be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him stones, as in Malak, MLK, Malak Taos. Malak Tauza. Azazel. Azazel. Iblis. Diabolos. That is who's we talk about. And I will set my face against that man, because I will cut off from the, among his people, because he have given his seed unto Moloch, to defile my sanctuary and profane my holy name. You know, the seven angel thing, and, and but angel is in jinn, not what Quran might mean, or some other text, because there's, you know, that division. Um, the Davas. But it's not as it's not like some that type of Satanism. Some the yes of the aren't like some sort of uh, they're not like the movies of Satanists. That's pretty much fantasy for the most part. It's almost non-existent. Probably less likely to happen among Satanists. And when you reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not reap the corners of thy field. Neither shalt thou gather the gleamings of thy harvest. And thou shalt not glean thy vineyard. Nor shalt thou gather every grape of thy vineyard. Thou shalt leave them for the poor and stranger. I am the Lord your God. Sounds kind of communistic, don't you think? I wonder what most modern preachers would have to say about rules like that. Take two steps on the, if they can take two steps on the land and grab a piece of fruit and eat it, and just, you know, not pile it up and go, um, Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shall fear thy God. I am the Lord. You shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness shalt thou judge thy neighbor. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people, neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbors. I am the Lord. Yahweh, perhaps? But a downy would be leader of the community, so yes. Thou shalt not avenge, neither bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Ye shall have one manner of law, as well for the stranger as for one of your own country, for I am the Lord your God. You know, it's not about who your parents were or where you were born. If thy brother be waxen poor and fallen in decay with thee, then thou shalt relieve him, yet though he be a stranger or a sojourner, that he may live with thee, take no usury of him, or increase, but fear thy God, that thy brother may live with thee. Thou shalt not give him thy money upon usury, nor lend him thy victuals for increase. And so Leviticus, obviously being one of those books that uh, I, I wish he had said something about every one of the 66 books of the standard Bible, but that didn't happen here. Um, but, you know, there, there's so many laws, but... Some of these laws are local and provincial. It's like, maybe they had to wear blue or purple because the Satanists said, no human's allowed to wear that. They said, back when Satanism was like 
one of the major religions. Not just millions of people out of billions, like millions of people next to millions of people, you know. Um, don't wear mixed fabrics. I don't know what that rule came from. Some are obviously we have indoor plumbing, so covering your poop with dirt is not necessary, you know not necessary nowadays. There's all there's a lot of Old Testament rules, and some of them may have been valid, some of them are not, but some of them may have never been. It's hard to tell because again, these were the priestly laws, not necessarily the revealed laws. Um, or some of these laws may have only been for the priest. And that sort of thing happens is here's this one group here's the upper class. They have to they have even stricter rules to follow. In India, that was sort of the case. And you know. So unless it's outright injustice, or there's information saying that this was never the law, you know. But every prophet came for the law, with the law for his time. I'm the way, the truth, and the light. That applies to Moses, Abraham, Jesus, Muhammad, all of them. But Muhammad was the only one who didn't come with rules specified for the Arabs and stuff like that. Yes, when you go on Hajj, you wear specific clothes on Hajj, and you do Hajj in a particular spot. And the other pilgrimages you do in specific spots. But there's none of this blood and soil, you know, everybody's required to do the same thing whether they can afford it or not. That's, that's gone. That's, that's not part of the international law. And we are the age of international law. So that's why less mention of the book of Leviticus might be important. There's some interesting rituals in there too, by the way.